Okay, let's get started here. So, use the graph of the position function to determine the, I, I think I should say um, t, really, I, I think. Um, but it'd be nicer if it said t, because the t is here. I guess, does it have to? Ah, it doesn't matter. Uh, use the graph of the position function to determine the time interval when the velocity is positive. So when the velocity is positive, uh, that would be up to here and here, positive derivatives. So um, that would be, what's that, one and a half and six, huh? Um, zero to one and a half and then six to seven. When is the velocity zero? Um, interval two to five. And then when is the velocity negative? Negative. Um, that would be there and there. Um, that would be 1.5 to 2 and 5 to 6. That's A. B. Sketch the graph of the velocity function. So, uh, velocity is the again the slope, the derivative here. So this is a quadratic. So a quadratic meaning um, its um, derivative is linear. It's all all positive here up until, like uh, I just marked that off as a one two three four five six uh, seven okay so it's it's all positive up to 1.5 and then it's it's zero at 1.5 um but the velocity is positive so it'll uh, and it's a uh, leveling out, it's decreasing. So I'm not sure what the height would be. So I'll just say it's like that. And then it'll go negative until it reaches two. So we could we could just draw something like uh, this. Uh, and then zero. So you got to jump here, unfortunately, until it gets to five. And then this is linear passing through the origin at six. So sadly, we've got this terrible graph. Terrible, terrible graph. Um, yeah, really bad. And um, that's done. Use the graph to determine the time intervals when the acceleration is positive. So acceleration is the derivative of the velocity. So the acceleration is positive only here um, from 5 to 7. Okay, and D, uh, when is the object speeding up? That's when it's... Uh, acceleration is positive and velocity is positive so here the acceleration is negative and here the acceleration is positive and velocity is positive from six to seven um that's velocity is positive and acceleration is positive or velocity is negative and acceleration is negative i think that's 1.5 to 2 and then slowing down is when they're opposite so acceleration is negative but velocity is positive or acceleration is positive but velocity is negative let's check the answer
And then negative 1.5 to 2 and 5 to 6 and 2 and 5. And the graph looks okay. And C is. Oh, did I miss the other ones? Acceleration. Um, acceleration is positive, and I, I missed negative and zero. So negative would be zero to two, and a zero is two to five. Let's check that. Um, five, seven, zero, two, two to five. And then lastly, six, seven, one point five two, and zero, one point five, and five to six. Okay, looks okay. That's now 160. Uh, the cost function in dollars of a, a comp of a company that manufactures food processors is given by that where X is the number of food processors manufactured. Find the marginal cost. The marginal cost is just the derivative. So that would be minus 7 over X plus 2 over 7x. Bring down the, oh, bring down the power, reduce the power by 1. Okay, that's A. B, use the marginal cost function to estimate the cost of manufacturing the 13th food processor. So marginal cost at 13. Um, Minus 7 over 13 squared plus 2 over 7 times 13. So that's roughly equal to $3.67. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to put in 13.5 or you know play around with them a little bit it's basically rough high three dollars um find the actual cost of manufacturing the, the 13th uh processor so it would be c13 minus c12 Uh, okay. Um, 7 over 13 minus 7 over 12 plus um, 13 squared over 7 minus 12 squared over 7. That's equal to 353 dollars. Yeah, it's not bad actually. Not bad. Find the marginal cost. Um okay, good. 161. The price P in dollars and the demand X for certain digital clock rate is given by the price demand function. Find the revenue function. So the revenue function uh is PQ or PX price times demand quantity. So that would be uh, 10x minus 0 0.001x squared. B, find the marginal revenue. That's the derivative. 10 minus 0 0.002x. Find the marginal revenue at 2,000 and um, at 5,000. Okay, six and zero. Um, are these in dollars? Yeah. Let's check the answer for one sixty one. I can do ten x minus zero point zero one x squared. 
um, 10 minus 0 0.002x and, uh, Mm -hmm. 83 and minus 97. 2,000 and 5,000. Did I mistype? Find the marginal revenue uh, at 2,000. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, there it is. I was just looking at the wrong one. There is 6 and 0. Okay, good. Good. Um, I think that we're good because 162, 3, not 4, 5. There are a few tech questions. More tech questions. Quite a few tech questions now. So I think that would be good for there. That, that there would be good. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you all. Uh, next time.